Let's move on to the second email today. And the second email today comes to us from Ben Whitaker, who writes, Brian Singer is a little bit of a hit and miss director for me, but in general, I like him because of films like The Usual Suspects, X-Men 2, Valkyrie, and the upcoming Bohemian Rhapsody. Heard he's now in talks to do Red Sonja. Like, really? They're still trying to get this made? I don't know how I feel about it. Could something like this be any good? All right, so for those of you who did not hear, Brian Singer, who's got a new movie coming out here with Bohemian Rhapsody, Yes, he was fired off the movie when they were a few weeks from finishing, but he is officially getting the director's credit, and according to reports, he has been in overseeing the editing of the film as well. Even though he didn't do the actual directing for the last few weeks of the shoot, he is getting the director's credit. Reports say he oversaw the editing, so there you go. But they're saying that he is in talks to do a Red Sonja film. Now, a lot of you guys remember Red Sonja from that great 1980s film with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Bridget Nielsen, Red Sonja. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. I get a real kick out of that movie. I still get a kick out of it. I can go back and watch Red Sonja. It's horribly cheesy, for sure. But I still get a massive kick out of it. Now, I believe the Red Sonja character was like created originally like the, the late 1930s, early 1940s or something like that. She made her comic debut in the 1970s with a Conan the Barbarian comic book. Uh, and by the way, even though Arnold Schwarzenegger, if you've never seen Red Sonja, even though Arnold Schwarzenegger is in that, and it's very much a Conan the Bar Barbarian type of film, it's he doesn't play Conan in that film, but anyway. Now, back a few years ago, I believe it was like 2008, there was this big announcement made at Comic-Con that Alita Battle Angel director Robert Rodriguez was going to do a Red Sonja film with his girlfriend at the time, Rose McGowan. And they even came out at Comic-Con with artwork for the movie, what would be a you know mock makeup of what the, the uh, uh, poster would look like and all this kind of stuff. Unfortunately for Robert Rodriguez and Rose McGowan in the studio at the time, the response was not fantastic. I think some people kind of thought it was a little bit sticky that Rodriguez would be doing it and he was casting his own girlfriend to be the lead in it. That rubbed some people the wrong way. And eventually, as we all know, the movie never came to pass. So it never really happened. But they've always kept an eye in an industry that is always looking for franchises. The studio's always kept an eye on maybe finding the right time to relaunch a Red Sonja, which if done right and if successful, those are two giant ifs, but if and if could be a new franchise. You could do two, three, or four of those movies if done right and if successful. And again, those are two giant ifs. So now word comes out, they're talking with Brian Singer. Look, everybody knows what I think of Brian Singer as a director. As a director, he's amazing. Um, X-Men, X-Men 2. I mean, Brian Singer is pretty much responsible for there being a new age of comic book movies. I mean, it was X-Men. You listen to the Batman producer, like the, the Dark Knight producers, and you listen to all those guys. When the Hollywood executives talk about when they knew that comic book movies could have a new era and it was a new age for comic book movies and these movies can be done critically, well-received, audience well-received, and make money, it was that first X-Men movie. That was the movie that did it for them. That's the movie for them that made a lot of them go, okay, we can move on these comic book movie projects now. It wasn't Blade... And I love Blade. But it was the X-Men film. You just listen to the producers. They talk about that was the moment that they realized we could move forward with these things. And of course, one of my top 10 all-time favorite films, Usual Suspects. I'm glad you mentioned Valkyrie because I think that is a highly underrated film. And it's one he did with uh, Tom Cruise. Valkyrie and, of course, Bohemian Rhapsody looks fantastic. In principle, do I like the idea of a Brian Singer taking over like a fantasy world film like a Red Sonja? In principle, yes. But I'm with you that it kind of seems like they've tried to make a Red Sonja thing work before and it didn't quite work. They weren't able to capture the imagination of the movie going audience. To, and so we've never really felt a hunger amongst the general movie-going audience for a Red Sonja. We have felt a little bit of hunger for a new Conan the Barbarian, but we've never felt one for a Red Sonja. So I honestly don't know how I feel about this as a decision. The idea of attaching Brian Singer, yeah, I could see why. He's got great sensibilities as a director. He's got a couple of stinkers as well as some great films, but he's generally a very good director. 
But is it really the right time for a red Sonia? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, again, like I said, the studios are all looking for franchises. Sonya does present an opportunity to establish a new franchise. But there's so many question marks surrounding that. It's been so long. Can this actually happen? Will this actually happen? I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of on the fence about it. I'm a little bit on the fence about it. What do you think? Two separate questions. Number one, what do you think about them trying to relaunch a Red Sonya? Do you like that idea in general? Now, whether you do or don't, then what do you think about attaching a director like a Brian Singer with something like Bohemian Rhapsody coming out? Do you like that idea? Do you not? Jump down in the comment section. I want to hear you guys say, think because, like I said, I'm a little bit on the fence about this whole thing. All right, let's move on now to the third email.